Hi. Um, this video is about uh, arpeggios in LMMS, which I like to call elements. Um, and well, arpeggios. Uh, you can see I have here an instrument. This is if you want to copy what I have done. This is from the Syn collect, uh, the Syn the strings folder, and the 0048 wa one. And it sounds, if you take the patio off, it sounds like this. Yes, and we have the possibility of putting a patio on it, which means that the, the, the node will be chopped up in little portions and played in sequence. This is what we know as an patio. If the sequence is zero, it sounds like this. Well, the time has been synchronized to the 16th note. And we know that if we uh, add another octave, we can get an arpeggio like this. Perhaps we should use another think here. We can think it to the 8th note. We can better hear what happens. Up and down. And the 3rd octave. Right. This is pretty nice and very useful. We can play nice but what if we want to play chords? Well, we can play whole chords because we can choose an octave uh, sorry, an o a chord from, 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 the, from this table minor for instance and it sounds like this Again, very nice. But not exactly uh, what I had in mind. I wanted to play a chord of my own. So, can we do that in, uh, in, in Elements? Uh, not with these uh, possibilities that we have here. Um, we have to to, uh, to to fiddle a little in the piano roll, and as you can see, I have the piano roll in the background here. I move this out a little, and I put in a note here, C four note, and if we uh, play it back, uh, it sounds like this. If we play it back. and I can choose the length of the note with the gate. This is important. So we'll start the playback. Um, I can synchronize the time of the arpeggio. Um, I right click the time uh, knob and I can sync. We put in another note here. Whoops. Um, and you can see this is chord C minor. And when I play it. So now, now the notes are synchronized and. Um, Simultaneously, I'm not looking for that. I wanted to play um, the normal type of arpeggio. Can I do that? First, I'm going to take the range down to one octave. This is meaning that I'm only playing one note fast uh, in um, uh, in repetition. If I make a replay, it sounds like this. So I have to synchronize these notes in respect to each other. I can do that if I move one of the notes. 
listen. Aha. Then I put in another. And I synchronize that the same way. Like this. But it doesn't sound completely correct. Um, I have to think about the timing. If I set the timing not to eighth note but to quarter note and use four notes in my put it in here. and then replay. And there you go. That's the perfect that's the perfect sixteenth arpeggio in the chord I have chosen. In this case the C minor. I can play around with that and how we can create an arpeggio uh, for a specific chord uh, and of course it's just to put in another chord Actually, um, uh, we can use this mistake uh, to see how we can make the chord um, play in different sequence. Because if I do like this, then that note will come first, then that note, then that note, and lastly that note. So we'll get another a patio sequence. Listen. So uh, the position of where the play ho the play head um, hits the note is actually uh, determining the sequence of the arpeggio. So what about length? Well, we do not have uh, the synchronizing to do that anymore and we cannot use direction anymore. Mode is not going to work. But we have the gate. Now we're going to play here a little with the gate. <laughs> and elements without fancy uh, appetiating engines like we know it from programs like Reason. Uh, I hope you found this useful for your own production and uh, see you soon again. Bye bye!